Let's go ahead and create uh, some bubbles in our brushes. So we can use those bubbles in underwater scenery or maybe saw bubbles or whatever you want it. It's just a nice brush to have it. So for this, we're going to create file, new, and one thing I want to be a 4,000 pixels by 4,000 pixels. And this is about maximum size of the brush inside the Photoshop, 4,000 pixels. So it makes sense to create at the highest resolution we can. We can always scale down if we need it. But uh, on this case, if we make a very, very large bubble, it's still be sharp and nice. Okay, we'll go ahead, create a new, and I have my um, rules enabled. So I clear those guides. And you know what? Let's go to create something on a background. We'll go select uh, just normal. Now let's go with the blues, kind of like this, select and just fill up. It doesn't matter, it's just like water, actually, from top to bottom. Well, hopefully it will give it us look like it's underwater. Okay, now let's go create our first bubble and we're going to create a new layer. Just select your uh, tools, ecliptic market tool, hold down shift key, go in a corner, okay, hold down shift key, click and drag. So this is will give it us correct round. We don't need to go all the way. You can just create one stick on the middle, not too close, but close enough to the edges. This is our shape will be for our bubble. Now we need to fill the shape with a, a gradient. And if you kind of remember or not, but with a brushes, a black, it's what will create for us kind of paint. So we need to create a black where we want the brush apply opacity of brush. Absolutely black, we'll have it 100% opacity and so on. Okay, next we're going to select fill tool and let's just switch this tool to the basic. We'll go maybe with, um, just let's go start with this. Doesn't matter which one we're selecting. What we want to do, it is be sure our start beginning with a zero opacity. We don't want any opacity this and on an end, right here we want 100 percent opacity okay and we want to set this color to the black so just like this simple opacity tool let's click ok and we want selecting the fill tool so now we can fill this inside and you can go from the center i would recommend not all the way just a little bit off center maybe just kind of like a little bit off this side and fill up in this case you will have it a little bit off and it will look a little bit better when it's bubble because like one side. Again, maybe I've gone too far. We get a little bit closer to the center, but not too, too close. Again, preview. Okay, I think that is look kind of nice. Um, next things what I want to do is add some distortion because if you kind of look on a bubble, they have this spectral lighting sometimes in the middle. For this, we'll go to select, you know what, Create. let's create new layer, okay? We'll just take soft round okay, and going create right here on a brush. Let's increase around that area. I think zero, which have a hundred percent opacity. And by the way, if you press on your keyboard, you can look right here where it says one, it's a 10, two, three. So you can actually very fast changing. I mean, it's nice. Just press zero and it's hundred percent opacity. And we'll just go around here and maybe click couple times so we have this dot of course it does not look very good we want be um, going with our sphere because that will be sphere and for this we'll go to just filter distortion and we'll go yes sphere eyes when we're selecting let's go to normal 100 percent click ok and you can see it's kind of pull out if you don't think it's enough just go filter and click sphere eyes again and this will do a little bit more okay there i think this look kind of nice Okay, let's go to um, uncheck everything. So well, unselected. We have two layers. Let's click both together. Control Command Click E to combine them, and we can call this brush. Okay, that is will be our main brush. Next, we want to hold down Control or Command on a Mac and click left click on a brush. It will just select what we needed. And uh, if we don't, it may select all skill. We don't uh, all. Uh, cube we don't want that so we'll just want to select this bubble and next we go to edit define brush and define brush let's go call bubble like this click ok and now we create our bubble 
This is one step, but again, it does not necessarily look as I want it because, um, okay, if we go, let's create new layer, preview, we click right there, you can preview, okay, that is okay, bubble, but it's not what I wanted because it is just look circle. I want to create something more fun, like bubbles going up right there. Okay, now we can go work with the properties for this specific brush. We'll go open brush properties. And first we'll start with the brush shape. So I want size different and let's go about maybe 50, 55%. You can play a little bit more with this. We don't need really care about angle, but because we have a little bit spectral lighting, let's just add like maybe 2% or whatever. So just a little bit randomizations there. Also right here on the shape, we want to um, think that it's look okay. Let's go brush shape, sorry, on top one. And we want to pop up our spacing. Let's pop up maybe about like 70, 60. We can play a little bit more around this. I just don't want them bunched together. I want them kind of tick, tick, tick going around this area. Now go back to our shape we set here. Let's go to scattering, bring our scattering around. This is you can play a little bit more and you always can click and just say, okay, that is look okay or it's too much scattering in one line. Well, that one look kind of okay maybe a little bit too much we can reduce this again you play with a little bit sizing see which one you want how much you want size differential between of course if we go 100 percent you can see how big is different ones and versus so where we're going smaller it will be all more uniform okay let's pop up about here maybe 70 next i want to go to to transfer and in a transfer i want opacity 100 percent flow 100%. That will help us see create like almost dimension. So now they come closer and behind. It's add a little bit more depth in our case. Okay, so let's go ahead and review what we've done. We create our brush, we copy. Now we work on the, some dynamics and shape. In a brush and shape, our we set spacing and you can so you can play a little bit more with spacing see how much you want it we don't really care about uh, angles at this point we have it in the shape and dynamics we increase size which is you can play around depending on how much you want it same with angle it just because we have this spectral lighting a little bit on this it's just change a little bit angle of this but you don't want to be too dramatic because we don't want to switch on different angles okay next we have a scattering and by the way you could create the angle um, adjustments a little bit higher if your lights coming from different angles to match this we don't care about texture dual or coloring uh, you could play a little bit more with the different colors in some cases like right here had foreground background so in this case you says okay i want one bubble to be a little bit more greenish and i want background to be a little bit more darker bluish you can just set two different colors set about 50 percent between them and now when you start painting you can see slightly changed colors on them as well so you can do this just saving colors and you know what let's leave it right now so we can play hues it's changed between those two colors a little bit adjustment same as a brightness and saturation so saturation kind of fun because you can see how we can create bubbles and that is maybe working if you creating like soap bubbles or other things then you probably want to play for soap bubbles with the hue and saturations in this case you can see they have kind of different coloring on the bubbles but in ours for underwater we'll just leave it like this again we'll go back and transfer and transfer we pop up opacity um jitter to 100 percent and flow actually you know and let's go to maybe about 95 so we're still seeing because we don't want 100 percent transparency we still want to see some bubbles there and you can see how they come up already very nice so when we're done with this we want to right click and we also want to go ahead click somewhere right here and it says new brush preset so we want to save this new brush bubble and let's go animate it okay when we save this brush let's see what's happening and you can see this is one brush we created just before and this is with animation and you can see we have this kind of symbol of the brush so it's meaning some properties like opacity shape scattering we all modify it and then save it and in some cases when i look on different brush they created i can say okay this brush it just will be single brush so when i'm created i can click right there see just single lights or i can just create one single 
bubbles, which is kind of very nice and cool when you need to place it. But at the same time, I have it same bubbles that is pre-animated. So I just need to go have a brush stroke and there is a brush and coming. Okay, when you create a brush and you're ready kind of to use, you can go on a background, create maybe, you know, just a little bit smaller size, 100% opacity, what we did before. Uh, let's go switch to normal on this. Be sure it's normal. And we'll just create, there you go. We have it kind of cool to the brushes going around. Okay, we can pop up size now. Okay, maybe a little bit too big. Add a couple more like right there. And we can switch this blending mode from this to soft light which is blend even better with our background. And now you're ready. You have a very nice brush you created that you can use it underwater to create some bubbles in your scenery, in your compositing or drying. You can also switch. You can see how we did it with a hue saturation to create a little bit more colorful bubbles, like maybe soap bubbles and other things. And then you can use them inside the, um, some other your scenery that you created maybe like outdoors or some other fun things okay so thank you for watching this video if you find it's useful and helpful please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel it's helped me up keep the rating channel up and click the notifications if you need it and again thank you very much for supporting and watching this video